just about to deliver a, a golf speech and uh, I collapsed. Uh, I didn't know anything about it. I collapsed and woke up a week later in Royal Aberdeen Infirmary. And I was one of the lucky ones because there was two accident emergency nurses in the audience who ran up right away, realised I was having a sudden cardiac arrest, uh, performed CPR on me which kept me going and I was also lucky that the hotel had a defibrillator. This was really the key, the defibrillator saved my life. Someone ran off, got the defibrillator and after the CPR administered the defibrillator, threw off my jacket apparently and uh, the defibrillator kept me going until the, until the ambulance arrived. One of the few people that make it under those circumstances. The stats aren't good and that's why uh, we decided after I was lucky uh, to be alive that we would want to start a campaign to try and place defibrillators in golf clubs initially, every golf club in the country, that's, that's really our aim. And, and to be honest, we've been very successful uh, together with uh, Arrhythmia Alliance, we're getting our message out there, defibrillators save lives, it saved my life and it can save many people's lives. So the more defibrillators we've got out there, the more chance we've, we've got of saving lives.